time in a wild, wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home near. Listen to this story carefully because it is going to tell everything that has been happened in the game. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seem to always follow them after a bad accident Hello everyone and welcome back to Abrix Gaming. And this time we are going to continue playing Life is Strange 2. We have already played all the four episodes and right now we are going to play episode 5 this time which has been released on 3rd of December 2019 and uh, right now till now Sean had lost his brother then he found it uh, him eventually in a church and uh, they both encounter their mother as well their long lost mother who have like abandoned both of the kids so right now they are on their journey but the police has been like crawling on them because of all the mishap they did or they have been accused or they have been blamed for whatever happened to their father and yeah but the the, the main problem li lies behind like everyone knows who Daniel is, everyone knows what Daniel can do, his powers and everything. And they are trying to travel to Mexico or Mexico to Puerto Lobos. I, I like Puerto Lobos, the pronunciation of that. So in case if you are in, if you like this game, then make sure to smash the like button. And if you want to get subscribed to new games like this, make sure to hit or the subscribe button as well and also try to turn on the bell notification so you are not going to miss any content related to gaming also do check my discord the links will be down in the description along with the link where if you are interested in purchasing this game you will find that as well so without wasting any more time we have talked a lot let's continue playing this game shall we Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home near. Listen to this story carefully because it is going to tell everything that has been happening in the game. The 
Wolf Brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. So that's all uh, happened in the story till now. And they have been beautifully explained by the example of wolves. Up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers, always.
The graphics look so amazing, man. Literally so amazing. So that I'm keep taking on screen shots. Still having those bad dreams. You know, about Lisbeth. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah. I know. I just wish she wasn't around anymore. <sighs> Without you, she has no power. We're all good. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. <sighs> if the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land. But between them and their destination, lied... The evil Chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. Okay. Cool. So... <clears throat> the Wolf Brothers... finally see the edge... of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first. So you don't influence me. Haha. <laughs> Okay, Stephen King Jr. Get on that. After we pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything.
Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon? Hmm... I can try. <sighs> Ta-da! Finished. Let me check it out! Oh, yeah! Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. God damn. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Whew. It's so nice and cool in the morning here. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn. It was amazing. Let's clean up Thanks, this mess. Joanne. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop! Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic <laughs> assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Yeah. Karen was right. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Yeah. Karen was right. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. 
step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Huh. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. I 
had no clue there was a network of se Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but <sighs> it feels kind of awkward to be here. I didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. And, oh, dude. I miss Cassidy as well. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. I hope the UFOs are listening. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Joanne can throw a total rager out here. <sighs> but without asshole neighbors. <laughs> this place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. <laughs> I love how they recycle everything into art construction or agriculture here. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. 
It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure, <laughs> why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes, hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Man, I thought my art was weird. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Ready, Sean? <sighs> okay, Daniel. Can you... Slam dunk the earth ball onto the base. Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Now, let's throw on that spider. Watch this. Man, I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See, Sean. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? There he goes! <laughs> Yo, can you turn that... that... Um, spider thingy around? Check it out! Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? You got it. Just like half a turn. Sweet. Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just because I noticed things doesn't mean I'm a stalker. 
No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. <laughs> Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I Karen did help us a lot since she found cool me and Daniel. Will you accept hmm. this quest to Better find my never. secret treasure? <laughs> Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Nano. treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> Love the energy out here. I hope. With everyone building stuff as they please. Trailer. It's outside. Love the energy out here. With everyone build as they please. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. Warm? Getting warm. Not too far. If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. Okay. Arr, I'm a shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Ah, uh, don't give up now. Come on. Hey, I'll just give you another. I bet Hippie started this place. Hey, I'll just give you another hit. The first item is under the windmill. Mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. You can do it! Thanks, Sean. Getting warm? You're warming up. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Not too far. Getting warm? Warm. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Getting closer. You're way out there, dude. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. As cold as ever. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. You're warming up. Getting warm. Warm. 
pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. It's close, Sean. Dude, we're on fire. Get back. Way cold. Ugh, it burns! Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Just grab it! You're here! Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! Dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Oh! I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast! Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David! <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally! Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, 
Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. Eh, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heart broken. Same for me. We just couldn't put our pieces back together. After what happened. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. We were like... oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I could... <sighs> Hope my crops will make it. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> this place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <sighs> That's why people come here all over the country for their own reasons not perfect but it works it is so peaceful out here <laughs> guess that's what everybody's really looking for peace you're probably right yes I still feel like we're really privileged out here there's bad shit going on in this desert <laughs> yeah I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. 
We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Alright guys, so this was the place where I have been in the video and we are going to continue it in the next video from here. In case we want to all check all the previous videos, the link uh, to the playlist will be down in the description so that you can get to know how we came, like how we come to this situation or all those choices that I have made personally. So once again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.